Good afternoon. My name is Holly Trumpler, and my speech is going to be on depression. When we go out in the world, day to day, to our work or our school, usually when we see the kid in the corner of the classroom, all sad and all secluded, we're like, oh, okay, they're depressed. But what about the opposite? The bubbly, the happy kid, the one who's talking to everyone, has all of these friends. You don't see them as depressed. You see them as, oh, they're happy, they're good. But what if they're not? A lot of depressed people put on this mask, put on this face, put on this facade to be happy so that they don't put their depression on other people and other people don't have to worry about them. And usually these depressed people go out of their way to help everyone else when they're the ones who need help the most. But they don't want anyone to worry about it. So they put on this face, especially in work. They put on this face to look professional, to look good, to look like they are good so that no one will ask questions, no one will bother them, and they will just do what they need to do to get through the day. Because when they get home and they're able to take off that mask and lay down and simmer in their thoughts, they go back to that depressed state. They go right back to it, like a switch. You're, oh, you're out there, you're happy, you're good, but when you come back home, the switch is back on and look there, you're depressed. And depression is not just the typical, ooh, sad, I'm really sad. Yes, it is that, but not all depressed people are gonna be like that. Depression is not being able to get out of bed in the morning because you don't have hope for that day, for the next hour, for the next month, and really for their life. They're like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? I don't see the point of getting out of bed. It's a struggle for them. And the happy people force themselves to do it because they're like, they don't want to give anyone a red flag to be like, oh, is there something wrong? Because they think they can handle it on their own. Another thing about depressed people is when you're really depressed, when you're at that state where you cannot get out of bed, you usually will have terrible hygiene because you don't have hope for today. You don't have hope for your life. You're not gonna care about what you look like, what you smell like, if your clothes are washed or any of it. You might have horrible hygiene and then People with that, their depression usually comes through a lot easier. But the happy people, the ones who look happy all the time, could be the ones who are forcing themselves out of bed every morning so that people don't worry about them, so they can keep up this facade and not get help. The happy ones are the ones you need to look out for because they're not gonna tell you most of the time that they're depressed. They're not. And you, if you're their friend, just talk to them. Just talk to the happy people. Be there for them, always. Because you never know if they're depressed. They could just be happy. They could just be a happy person and not have depression. But you always want to check on them. And check on the sad people too. Check on the sad ones, check on the happy ones, and make sure they're both good. Or if they're not, now you can get the happy person help because they feel like they can open up to you. So, the whole consensus Look at both. Don't just look at the sad person and be like, oh, they're depressed. Look at, look at the happy person, look at the sad person, look at the medium person. Just make sure everyone's okay. And that's why we're here as humans, to be good for each other. Thank you so much for listening to my speech. Have a great day.